Long have I watched over the world of man, and I have been sickened by the ruthless acts of a soulless few. But through it all, I have learned more of who I am. Some call me hunter. Some call me protector. Whatever I am called, I have vowed to be this world's guardian angel. Training. I was doing mental exercises. You know, reading. Little symbols on paper. They make words. Words form sentences. Mikey, didn't you learn anything from your Battle Nexus rematch? We have to be ready. All the time. Ah, uh, young Leonardo. Remember what Master Splinter says. Worry leads to fear. Fear leads to anger. Anger leads to worry. No, hold on. Fear leads to anger, anger leads to hate, hate leads to... a dark and moody Leo. What the show was that? This ends now, Mephos! I think not, Raptor. Living amongst these apes has made you weak! No, my old friend. Living down here has only made me realize that much more. How wrong you have always been! So, who do we help? We're gods among insects. You always refuse to see that. That guy certainly doesn't sound too friendly. <laughs> Maybe we should take them both out. Man, one turtle with two was bad enough. Your lack of vision will be your downfall, old friend. Wait a minute. It, it can't be. I don't believe it. What? That guy with the wings. He's the guardian angel. Who's the what? You should really read a paper once in a while. The Guardian Angel is all the rage! He's the new superhero in town! A highly secretive good guy that goes around saving people! And right now, he needs my help! This is so cool! And now... It's time to see how you like life without your wings, old friend. Turtle Titan to the rescue! Wait, Mikey! We'll give you a hand! No need! Turtle Titan has everything under control! Whoa, 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 whoa! Mikey, no! Whoa! Oh, shit! <laughs> Mikey! Oh, no! <sighs> Don't worry! 
so foolish. What the shell? Uh. Uh. Not again! Okay? I think... I think so. They made it! Where'd the other one go? <laughs> Mikey, look out! <laughs> Mikey! Hang on, bro! At last, the diadem. You will not need this anymore, Raptor. And now, to put a long overdue end to our friendship. Bring it, Flyboy! If you got the guts! Foul creatures. Go crawl back into whatever swamp vomited you forth. I have what I need for now. So what do we do about this guy? <sighs> he is regaining consciousness. Mm, where am I? This place, it is an Olympian stronghold. Yeah, well, that's a long story. You're the guy that papers call the Guardian Angel. I've got all the clippings. You're famous. You have damaged one of your wings. Do not move. Ah! It is much better. I simply manipulated pressure points in your shoulder to redirect the flow of chi in your wing. Thank you. I... Mephos. The diadem. Where is it? Uh, if you mean your headband, that guy with the metal wings took it. No! It will spell the downfall of my people. With it, Mephos will spark a new civil war. Countless innocent lives will perish. Don't sweat it, Mr. Guardian Angel, sir. We'll just kick Tin Wing's butt and get your diadem thingy back. I cannot ask you to help. I am already in your debt. And where I come from, that is no small thing. And you saved Mikey. We take that pretty seriously, too. We'll help you, but we need to know everything. Very well. My name is Raptar. I am an avian. I knew it! We were a race of beings, created as slaves by the ancient Olintians many eons ago. Yolintia was a world of wonders. Through the limitless power of their crystal sun, the Olintians had built a utopian society far ahead of its time, but it had its dark side. We avians were treated like animals by our cruel Elintian taskmasters. We were worked like slaves to build their paradise, then forced to live apart in a floating cage, so we would not befoul their precious city with our inferior presence. Then, one day, there was war. The outside world had had enough of Elintia's iron-fisted rule. So had we. The slaves of Alintia united against our cruel slave masters. The rebellion raged! Irony of ironies. It was our birdcage prison that in the end saved us all. My ancestors managed to free it from its tether as Alintia finally sank beneath the waves. Salvaging precious fragments of the Alintian crystal sun, the avians combined the shards into an incredibly powerful energy core. Powerful enough to keep our floating area locked forever. Their prison had been transformed into a home. My people were free. For centuries, we avians kept ourselves cut off from the outside world. But there were those who believed we were destined to rule over the surface world, not to hide from it. The leader of this movement was my best friend and comrade, Mephos. 
Attack! He led his followers in a revolt that pitted avian against avian, brother against brother. <laughs> ended with Mephos's capture. For his crimes against our people, the Avian Council sentenced Mephos to be exiled to the surface world for all time, his wings taken from him. No. No! No! I stayed on the surface world to watch Mephos and to stop his attempts to return to the Avian city. Living here, in your world, I have learned much, and have been able to help those in need. And I have stopped Mephos' plan several times. But now, with my diadem, he will be able to find the Avian City and enter it unopposed. The surface world is doomed. Imagine a floating city that can only be detected by a crystal diadem. The immense power of the crystal energy core makes the Avian City an unspeakable weapon of mass destruction. <laughs> And soon it will be Mephos's to command! Lord Mephos, we have awaited your return. All sentries have been taken care of except for those at the entry tunnel. As soon as we received your signal, my lord, we imprisoned the Avian Council. All but three elders, who have holed up in the Crystal Tower. Have they now? Rise! Rise up, my faithful ones! Revolution once freed us from the tyranny of the Olympians. And now, a revolution shall usher in a new age, where avians shall rule the planet! Donnie, we going or what? We're going. Prepare to be amazed. Tech pack thingies? What's so amazing about that, Hotshot? Why, how kind of you to ask. Just watch and be amazed. Cool! I've been working on an upgraded version of the tech pack that can fly. But we still have a problem. Without a crystal diadem, we won't be able to find the city. But your home is an Alintian outpost. Surely there must be Alintian power crystals here. Um. We kind of used them all to help some of our friends. It's a really long story. What of the memory crystal? Let us see. Here. It is still here. Perfect. These will do. Whoa! Where'd that come from? I thought I scanned the whole layer from top to bottom for crystals. How? It's an avian thing. Your hospitality has been most generous. Thank you, Splinter. Be careful, my sons. Piece of cake, Sensei. These things are safe, right, Donnie? You've tested them. Uh, not exactly. Then this will have to be the test flight. Leo, wait up! Come! Come, let us pay our respects to the Avian Council! Welcome here. Why have you dared to return? <laughs> For this. Oh. Now that I have the key to the crystal, I have all that I truly need. Oh. Oh. <laughs> no, you must not tamper with the crystal. I really must. Because you see, the key to controlling Avian City is controlling the crystal. And this city is the key to controlling the world. Yeah! 
Remember the plan. Mifos's dire focus should be his own undoing. One question. Are we there yet? Actually, yes. Wow. You said it, Mikey. Now, you will witness the true power of the crystal. No, Mifos. You could destroy the city. A city, perhaps. But not this one. Now, time to let loose one of the god's thunderbolts! Excellent. Now, we should destroy one of the surface crawler cities. Let's say... Seattle. I think not, Mephos. Huh? Remember us? Well, now we got wings! Destroy them! of land and sky join with you you are mad you'll lose more than your wings this time mephos <laughs> 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 then you will have to perish i see that wing just hasn't had time to heal has it <laughs> this was your big plan raptor fly in here and be defeated by me pathetic Actually, the plan was that I'd distract you long enough to allow my friends time to take the key crystal. And it seems to have worked. Looky what we found. You dirty surface creatures dare to befoul the sacred crystal key by touching it? I will destroy you all. You really want it? It's right here. Hurry, I'm befouling it by touching it. Lots of befouling going on over here! <laughs> you want it so bad? Then fetch it! I must have the key crystal! <laughs> what? No! I'm too close! Too close! No! We owe you a great debt of gratitude. You know, maybe someday our worlds could, you know, coexist. Perhaps. Until then, I trust the secret of our existence will remain safe with you. You have our word. I only have one request! Name it. Somebody take my picture with Raptor! 
Why? Are you gonna sell it to the Weekly Weird News? <laughs> nah, it's for my superhero team-up scrapbook. Why? How much do you think they'd give me for it? With you in the picture, a nickel. Maybe less. <laughs> <laughs>